From the ice to the red carpet with stops at the spa and a penthouse in between, we're dreaming big today on The Express. On today's show, the Sierra Sill Giants report. NHL dreams from inside the creek. It's been going well for him so far. I'm not surprised. You can go 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. West Coast style. Vintage value from Vancouver hotspots. So you want me to drink my salad? Is this Absolutely. the idea? Rare investments, the good life. Aaron Sebula's red carpet secret. I have a few little tricks up my sleeve. Come on outside, Tim, and check out this view. Wow. Dream home. This is unbelievable. Can you say West Vancouver penthouse? Check out that view. I really believe this is the best of West Coast living. See that and more local expression. I mean, you bring guests up here and you're going to knock their socks off. Welcome to the Express only on Shaw TV. I'm Joe Hanna Ward at the Burnaby Winter Club. The Rascals are practicing on the ice behind me. I'm willing to bet there are probably some kids and parents with some NHL dreams. What about you? Have you ever dreamed about walking in the shoes of a millionaire? Well, put on your Gucci loafers or your Louboutins and let's go. We're taking you inside a West Vancouver penthouse on today's Dream Homes. From the trendy seaside boutiques and restaurants to the stunning views high atop the North Shore Mountains, it's safe to say residents here are living the high life, especially when your average home sells for more than $2 million. I'm talking about the city of West Vancouver, and in this segment, we're heading to its most popular neighborhood, Ambleside. Hey Brock, nice to see you. Tim, you too. How are you today? I'm very well. Good. So, what do you have for us this week? Tim, I've got Western Canada's premier waterfront penthouse. You won't believe it when you see it. Sounds amazing. Let's check it out. I really believe this is the best of West Coast living. Uh, you know, being on the ocean, um, you know, the, the ship traffic coming and going, the cruise ships, um, the vistas over through Stanley Park and uh, to the west side of Vancouver. And in the back of the apartment, you're looking out over to the mountains. I mean, it really exemplifies West Coast living to me. And it all starts in the state-of-the-art kitchen. You've got an incredible appliance package. You've got uh, cappuccino centers. You've got uh, warming drawers. Whether you're feeding four or 40, this kitchen's got the comfort and space to accommodate. Plus, you'll never run out of wine. You've got an incredible 400 bottle temperature controlled wine cellar, all mill worked out of cedar, all temperature controlled for those nights when you're gonna have your guests over for a beautiful dinner, you pull out a great bottle of wine. The entertaining doesn't end here. Why line up for tickets and popcorn when you can cozy up in your very own theater room? This cinephile's dream includes a 60-inch flat-screen TV, surround sound home theater system, and comfortable yet stylish seating for 10. I mean, you bring guests up here and you're going to knock their socks off. If there's nothing on TV, you can always grab your favorite book in your very own library. Absolutely. We've got floor to ceiling uh, bookcases here, all mill worked in the same hardwood as the balance of the home. Great space to just we're do some computer work or, as you said, grab a good book. Upstairs is a master bedroom that can hardly be described as a room. With 18 foot ceilings, fireplace, and spacious lounge area, this place is a penthouse suite in itself. Well, a little place to get away if there's people downstairs, a little private spot. But perhaps the most defining feature of this luxury condo? Come on outside, Tim, and check out this view. Wow, this is unbelievable. The glorious 1,200 square foot deck where you can enjoy an unparalleled view of Burrard Inlet. It's quite possibly the best vantage point in the city. In the afternoon, you'll see cruise ships right in front of your suite. Um, you're looking all the way out to Point Grey and to UBC. And you have a fabulous view of uh, the Lionsgate Bridge right over there. Absolutely, at night it's shining like a, like a star right in the distance. So, we have intricate design features, modern amenities, and a world-class view. I'm your host, Tim Chung, and join me next time as I explore luxury living at its best here on the West Coast.
The price tag on that penthouse, $6.3 million. Wow. Of course, living rich isn't all about money. Later on today's show, with our Rare Investments, The Good Life, ET Canada's Erin Sebula is going to be sharing her cost-saving beauty secrets. And right now, with West Coast Style, we're getting a lesson in vintage. What to shop for and where. Pacific Center's West Coast Style is brought to you by Pacific Center. The West Coast is one of the most beautiful places on the planet, and I'm on the hunt to make sure that the people here look just as good as where they live. I'm Mana Mansoor, and I'm a lifestyle journalist searching for the most cutting-edge fashion and beauty hotspots, deals, and tips, all in our own backyard. I'll do the shopping so you don't have to. This is West Coast Style. Today on West Coast Style, it's all about Vintage 101. We'll give you the ins and outs and how to shop vintage, along with tips on how we can enhance your wardrobe. Our first stop is downtown's hidden gem, Used Vintage. Used Vintage opened their doors in 2003 and offer customers an eclectic mix of famous brands to completely off-the-wall pieces. What are things to keep in mind when shopping for vintage? You know, everything's pretty well one of a kind. You know, you won't find it anywhere else. The stuff from even from the early 90s back, the quality was much better than, say, today. This is a Chanel Bustier from the early 80s. It's like a very iconic garment. That's awesome. And I love yeah. the full leather getup. It's very Lady Gaga. <laughs> Where has been one of the most craziest places you've found something? Well, you know, I've often just bought stuff off people right off their backs, you know? <laughs> they should have really? walked down the street and offered them money for what they're wearing. This is an authentic LV suitcase. Yeah, like 1930s. They're really sought after. People love them. They look fantastic. <laughs> Fashion very cyclical, right? Yes. Often, like, the very worst looking thing soon becomes the very best newest thing. But more vintage variety awaits just outside of downtown. Our next stop was Mintage on Commercial Drive. We're here with Skylar Stock, the owner of Mintage. What would you say is the very first thing you'd like to tell our viewers on how to vintage shop? Don't overwhelm yourself. Just kind of keep it simple and hone in onto what you see, what you like, and, and, and let yourself go. It definitely can be hit and miss, but you know, there's a lot of great hits in here. Try not to be ruled so much by magazines or this and that, but go with what you like, what looks good on you. How do you source all the different items in your store? We have buyers and they're hand selecting people piece by piece by piece. You can go 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. Here's a 70s dress. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. And you get into the 70s and you get into that, you know, there's all, there's a whole range of stuff for both guys and gals. And this dress alone is playing on a lot of the trends for this season. Mm -hmm. We have the, um, the lace and the kind of crochet thing that's coming back in. And then one of my favorite eras, the yeah, 80s. And the 80s. You know what? There's parts of it that are absolutely spot on today. So Skylar, we are going to show viewers at home how easy it is to spruce up an outfit with vintage pieces. I've put on my discount shirt that I bought at a discount retailer. We're going to put some vintage items that you've chosen for me to complete the look. Ta-da! So you've taken it and this plain shirt and it's like pop, pop, pop and it makes your look unique. I feel like so much more uh, in style and on trend now than just with my plain shirt. Fashion is fun, that's really what it's about. Now for our style tip of the week. To keep your vintage looking in top shape, make sure to store delicate pieces in garment bags and always keep fur and leather in a cool, dry place. I'm Mana Mansour for West Coast Style. Pacific Center's West Coast Style has been brought to you by Pacific Center. Both shops are open seven days a week and they bring in new items daily, so you can check back if you don't find what you're looking for the first time. You can get more fashion tips by following West Coast Style on Twitter. You're watching The Express and later on the show, we're gonna find out what it is that gets the wedding bells to wear their bikinis on camera, good for them, and share these stories. The Sierra Still Giants Report. Meet the Giants' number one goalie. Probably the most gratifying thing that has happened over my career. Remember, we're going red carpet. We need dramatic. Rare investments to good life. Learn Aaron Sebula's surprising style secret. This is dramatic for me. We're going bigger. You're watching local TV on The Express.
Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by... The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward.